Welcome to the JNT. Why Nigeria lawyer don't come at once in the bowl? So make him not try and twist Nigeria constitution. My people now well don't know. Why Mr. Mike will be Nigeria advocate and also human rights activist? Don't come at the talk oh, waiting the border and for in mind. And as a result of this talk, he can they send one into Nigeria president or Mr. Tinibu. He can they talk about Guinea, for example, our military say take power for there. Say we not come be say now that one will come up for Nigeria at last, so if they not follow constitution. My people I won't play on the video, make una yeah, waiting this man get to talk. So now while this video finish, make una drop on a comment oh, and make una not forget to like and share this video. The case of Guinea, for example. A family being in power for 57 years. Are you the only family in Guinea? Are there no other Guineans? What gives you the right to think that the sun rises and sets in your household alone? It is this kind of seat tightest approaches to governance aided by misgovernance, corruption opaque governance directionless hunger, thirst melancholy and social disequilibrium that make people to rise up and take up arms against their leaderships such taking up of arms to me against oppressors who masquerade under the thin guise of leaders changing their constitutions at will to accommodate further terms I do not regard it as a coup d'etat I regard it as good readers to bad rubbish. And that is why I have written tons and tons of articles. My last outing on this was 40 pages. By the way, my keynote address today is 78 pages, but I'm just speaking to it. And I've sent it already to the Secretariat. My last outing on this was 40 pages where I warned the Nigerian government not to lead or aid a cowards to go to Niger Republic to attempt to forcibly remove the interim military government with Niger Republic having served borders with seven states in Nigeria. The humanitarian catastrophe displaced and dislocated people that you are going to cause would be unimaginable added to our present insecurity Boko Haram and banditry kidnapping, hunger thirst disillusionment let me use this forum to, to, to warn the Nigerian government don't pay it. It is neither righteous nor justified to intervene. Not only because Niger Republic is a sovereign state, but also because we have no right to intervene and tell them how to govern themselves. Nigeria has never been told how to govern herself. From the first military push of 15 January 1966, led by Major Kaduna Uzo Guchukuma and other young majors, I didn't see the international community come here to tell us how to govern ourselves. The counter coup, or rather, the counter coup that, that removed General JTU Agui Ronsi, who ruled for six months led by Mutala Mohammed, Danjuma and others. And the enthronement of a 32-year-old bachelor 
later General Yakubu Gowon to be head of state, who ruled for eight good years between 1967 and January 15, 1970, the Armed Forces Day, when General Philip Effio surrendered to General Olusegu Obasanjo, I didn't see the international community evade us or interfere in our foreign affairs. When Mutala Mohammed was killed, ambushed and killed in Ikoyi in 1976, and Ulishego Obasajo was made head of state with Iaradwa as his deputy. I didn't see the international community come to tell us how to govern ourselves. DJ King. DJ King.